For nearly two decades, the National Biodiesel Board has worked cooperatively with the petroleum supply chain, ensuring that those purchasing biodiesel and biodiesel blends receive only the highest quality fuel available, a fuel that meets and exceeds the user's expectations and benchmarked by ASTM standards, which is of paramount importance for all. Through the coordination and leadership of the National Biodiesel Board and the generous support of the Nebraska Soybean Promotional Council, Connecticut and Massachusetts energy marketers, our team designed and developed a liquid fuel blending training board that would provide a visual demonstration on the advantages of how computerized blending of fuels at the terminal level can reduce the uncertainty associated with splash blending of terminal tanks. The demonstration, which you are about to see, clearly confirms that optimum blending can increase the likelihood of positive user experience downstream. Hi, Michael Trask from Hall Trask Equipment Company. We're a third generation equipment supplier in the New England area. Today I'm here to demonstrate a more proficient way to blend liquids together. In doing so, we've developed a board with what is called a top tech device, multi-load two. We have turbine meters and we have proportional valves. We have sight glass glasses to emulate or show the product flows. We have a sight glass to show the blend point. Ultimately, I will first show you a simulation of a sequential blend. This is an access ID screen for fuel management, a pin number for the driver as well for, again, fuel management capabilities. Our first screen is a product capabilities. You could have multiple products here, a fuel oil, an on-road and an off-road diesel for say. At this point, we'll hit enter and we'll see our recipe capabilities, which could be multiple products. In this case, we demonstrate or show a B20. Our next line you can see is a fuel oil, which would be a straight 100 fuel oil. And our third line is a B100 if we wanted to do all bio. We're going to select B20 for the process of this demonstration at 100 gallons for a simulation. And at this point, we'll hit enter, and I'm going to take you to a display screen that shows our two products, bio being on line one, fuel oil 100 being at line two. And on the right side of the screen, you can see that we just finished our final trip of bio, and we're continuing our fuel oil up to 80% of the fuel oil. And what you see there is you can see line one is a 20% of the product and line two is a 80% of the primary product. During this load, you're gonna see product come out of two loading arms into two separate vessels. I'm gonna bring us to another screen that actually shows the two different products, top line being bio, bottom line being fuel oil. The red fuel demonstrating bio coming to a stop at 20%. And then the green fuel demonstrating fuel oil being the green product. In a normal terminal, this would be our tank, our storage vessel. And we would then sequentially blend the product into the storage tank. To demonstrate this, I'll pour the beaker with a funnel to the bottom of the tank where the tank is filled. What this demonstrates is a stacking of the product. You can see that there's more red at the bottom and green at the top. 
Now the two products we're demonstrating with today happen to be water. The lower product being the bio is about 0 0.03 in difference in weight. We use that, a liquid sugar to create that with water and red dye and then just plain dyed green water for the fuel oil. Now I'll take you through what we call a ratio blend. So with a ratio blend, what we're going to do is we're going to bring two streams now together through one loading arm. We're going to enter an access number in this case, a pin number. Then we're going to select our product capabilities and now our recipes. In this case, we're going to do a B20, again, with 100 gallons. <clears throat> and again, for demonstration, I'm going to show you our, our product screen, which shows the two products at the same time, bio being on the top, fuel oil on the bottom. You can see the red and the green, and you can see the blended product in the third sight glass. The bio will come to the end at 20% or 20 gallons, and the fuel oil will finish with a flush, clearing the loading arm with a clear green. The end result is a better blend of the product. You can see there's a, a full emulsion of the product throughout the complete tank. From here, we're gonna take you to an actual work, working terminal in New Hampshire will demonstrate these same capabilities in a real live oil truck. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tim Keveny. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Hero BX. Today we're here in Northampton, New Hampshire, where the company has made an investment in a bioheat blending facility, a very unique infrastructure project that is enabling Hero BX not just to provide great biodiesel to, um, to the market of New England, but offer a bioheat program for distributors of heating oil in the region of Rockingham County, York County in Maine, and areas of central New Hampshire. A few of the benefits of this bioheat blending facility include precise distillate fuel and biodiesel blending. In other words, it takes the guesswork out of putting fuel oil and biodiesel together in a harmonious blend inside a truck. It eliminates truck driver error or guessing for blends. The TopTech multi-system along with the multi-load two equipment enables the product to become the perfect distillate and bioheat blend. It's fast, it's safe, it's reliable, and it's the ideal solution for a fuel oil dealer or a terminal operator for that matter who wants to offer new emerging fuel such as biodiesel and bioheat blended together. MBB has focused its attention on providing education and outreach to those closest to the fuel. That would be terminals, wholesalers, and resellers, all of whom play a pivotal role to deliver the highest quality gallon of diesel, biodiesel, heating oil, or a blend of each to the downstream. Whether it is the heating oil or the diesel markets, the supply chain works together to be certain all fuel manufactured, stored, blended and distributed is of unquestionably the highest quality. With higher and higher blends of biodiesel becoming the norm nationally, terminals are now seeking alternatives to traditional blending schemes. Should you have any questions about the process, the equipment or techniques being presented, do not hesitate contacting the Nazara Group. Thanks for watching.